spot. Our good news reporter Fred Anderson has a story of these talented youngsters for us right now. Well, Jerry, you know, so often it's usually the football heroes who get all the glory. But at West Covina High School, it's a song and dance team called the Chamber Singers who are bringing honors to the school and basking in a glory of their own, well-deserved. Brothers and sisters and sisters and brothers Working together to make things right These young people are heroes here in the West Covina campus as much or even more than the football players and in recent years they have brought home their share of trophies currently reigning as California state champions and to please the taxpayers the West Covina High Chamber Singers are self-supporting their costumes and dancing shoes are all bought with money taken in at fundraising events. Right now, they are trying hard to raise the money needed to travel to the University of Michigan and a crack at the national championships. Their director, music teacher Tom Kessler, says to belong to the chamber singers requires as much, if not more, time and work than the football team. These kids put in approximately two hours a day of class time plus three hours on a Monday evening and six to eight hours on a Saturday to accomplish what you've seen here today. And that goes from September all the way through until June. I love it. I think we all do when we step on stage. We just feel so comfortable um, performing for people. And what about the work that goes into it? There's a lot of work. There's, there's a lot of work, but um, it's fun because we all get together and we, we just work together and we see each other grow. We see it start out from something pretty not too terrific and then we work on it and it, and it all pulls together and it's great. It's not really hard work because you enjoy it so much and you enjoy each other's company and just all that sort of stuff. For Stuart Cronk, who graduates this year, it means a crack at a show business career he would not have considered before attending West Covina High. I wasn't really used to doing this sort of thing. And Mr. Kessler, he helps us out a lot and he gives me a lot of opportunities to perform and stuff like that. You weren't used to singing and dancing before you did this? No, not at all. I've, I've hardly ever been on stage in the last two years. You've learned it all here at West Covina High. Just Mr. Kessler, he's molded me. <laughs> and how do you feel about having been molded into a, into a star of the high school campus? It's good, I love it. <laughs> Is this uh, more or less than being a football star? It's more, a lot more. Why? Because singing, you, there's so many people that are just sitting and can enjoy it. They can forget their troubles and stuff like that when they look at you. And they enjoy that, and so do I. <laughs> How about that? All of that glory for the city of West Covina and without socking it to the taxpayers. They're still short about $7,000, by the way, to pay their way to the National Johnny Man Championships, so uh, donations from grateful taxpayers and music lovers will be happily accepted, Chuck. All right. Thanks, Fred.